All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my kitchen for another video. My name is Derek from Simnite Nutrition and today I'm gonna be starting back up my amazing food series. So if you guys have followed this channel for a little while, you'll remember I started this series a little while ago and I kind of fell off track with it. Sometimes that happens with me on this channel when I get, you know, focused on other things. But hey, the most important part is we are back together now and today we're gonna be talking all about turmeric. So the goal with these videos is to get you excited about whole plant-based foods and understand some of the reasons why we should be eating these foods. So in these videos, I always like to touch a little bit about the history of the food, some cool fun facts about the food, you know, where it comes from, all that sort of stuff. And then I also like to talk about the nutritional aspects of the food, how it's gonna benefit our bodies. And then of course, I like to show you some ways that you can incorporate it into your cooking and a recipe as well at the end. So definitely stay tuned for that. Oh, and in this video, I'm gonna be telling you guys why you should definitely start thinking about buying whole turmeric like this rather than the powder. It's a pretty important message, so watch for that as well. So turmeric is a flowering plant that is native to India and Southeast Asia. It's often referred to as Indian saffron. And it grows underneath the ground much like ginger and has a slightly spicy but earthy flavor. And to be honest with you guys, it's not the tastiest thing out there. If you've ever had it, you probably know that, but it's generally not consumed for its flavor alone. It's usually consumed for its many health benefits and also the coloring that it adds to foods. The nice thing about turmeric is when you use it in small amounts, it doesn't overpower your cooking, so it's pretty easy to use, and it also can go either sweet or salty, so you definitely have some options. It has been used for thousands of years in cooking and remains a mainstay herb in Ayurveda. So there's a lot of turmeric produced each year. There's a million tons of turmeric produced each year with three quarters of that coming from India. Most of the research that's been done in turmeric has been focused on curcumin and that's its most active ingredient. So a lot of people know of curcumin as being a really powerful anti-inflammatory, but it has so many other benefits to our bodies. Curcumin can help the body to regulate oxidative stress, improve cell signaling, regulate blood sugar levels, improve blood fat levels, and it can even stimulate the enzymes responsible for converting the parent omega-3 molecule, ALA, into DHA. That's pretty cool. Studies on turmeric have shown benefits for different digestive disorders, and one of the coolest ways that it helps with our digestion is it stimulates our body to release bile. So this will help us to not only utilize and absorb fats, but also the fat-soluble vitamins that go along with them, vitamins A, D, E, and K. It's also great for cognitive function. It helps reduce arthritis pain. It's really good at supporting the liver and the kidneys, and it's also good at helping to ward off dementia in the elderly. There are literally thousands of studies on turmeric and curcumin, so if you're feeling keen, definitely go into PubMed and check it out, and you will see why turmeric is truly an amazing food. The amount of curcumin that's actually in turmeric root is pretty small. It's only about 2 to 5% by weight. But it doesn't mean that we have to go out and buy some isolated curcumin supplement in order to get the benefits. Uh, you can get a lot of the benefits from just consuming the whole turmeric root or powder. And the nice thing about whole foods, as we know, is there are a lot of other components that are in this food that are going to work together to help with the end result. So yeah, don't think that you have to go and buy a supplement to get the benefits. Just eat the whole food. By now, many people have heard that consuming turmeric together with black pepper will increase the absorption. And this is definitely true. There was one study that even found up to a 2,000% increase in absorption when consumed with black pepper. So what happens is our body produces enzymes that break down the compounds in turmeric really quickly, and it doesn't allow it to circulate for very long in our body. So what the black pepper does is it inhibits this metabolic pathway and actually allows the turmeric to circulate around in our body for longer and work its magic. So how much do you need to consume in order to see the benefits? So it's actually not that much. You might be surprised. So about a half to three quarters of a teaspoon is enough to benefit you, and some studies even showing benefits at much lower doses than that. And because turmeric is fat soluble, it will actually help with the absorption if you consume it with some fats. So along with it helping you to absorb fats, it's also <laughs> absorbed better with some fats. Did that make any sense? So I generally feel pretty good all the time. I eat a fairly healthy diet, but I do go to the gym a lot and I'm pretty hard on my muscles and on my joints. And with that comes some inflammation. So I definitely do notice when I'm consistently consuming turmeric and black pepper together that it does help me to recover. And as any of you guys know that are athletes, recovery is the holy grail to any type of athletics or sports. The quicker that you can recover, 
and get back out there and train hard, the better you're going to be and the further ahead you're going to be than the next guy. So with over 5,200 studies mentioning turmeric on PubMed and new information on its benefits coming out all the time, it's clearly one of the most helpful and powerful foods that we can be consuming and that we should be consuming. However, we have to be mindful of the source and especially lately. And there's been some news that I've come across that I have to share with you guys. And it's that a lot of the turmeric that has been coming into the United States has been found to have high levels of lead. So apparently a type of lead called lead chromate is bright orange in color, very much like turmeric. But of course, it is heavy. The spices are bought and sold by weight. So if you can make a spice heavier, all of a sudden it is worth a lot more money. And not only that, but certain growing conditions can cause turmeric to be dull and brownish in color, which wouldn't be worth very much money because everybody's used to turmeric being this bright orange color. So adding the lead chromate to it can also boost the color of it along with the weight. You can see here in this chart just how high the lead levels were of the tested turmeric powders. So the dotted line on the left hand side is actually the safe limit for imported candy. And the reason that they use that as a benchmark is because at the time of this report in 2017, the FDA had not established an amount of heavy metals allowed in imported spices. And to the best of my research, they haven't changed anything to this day. So there is still no real regulations on the amount of heavy metals that can be in imported spices, which is just crazy. Uh, and that should obviously change. I don't know how they would go about doing that or regulate it, but it obviously has to change. And uh, they did actually mention in this article that the consumption of turmeric is going up quite a bit and not only for, uh, you know, healthy people realizing the health benefits of it, but a lot of companies are now using turmeric as a coloring for their food, like Kraft Dinner, for instance, um, rather than using artificial colors because uh, they know that people are becoming more and more health conscious, even when eating Kraft Dinner, I guess. <laughs> they want to see that it's naturally colored. So what do you do? Do you just not consume it? So what I've been doing a lot more lately is just consuming it fresh like this, just the fresh root. Uh, and it's a little bit less convenient and its taste is a little bit stronger. But uh, unless you're a fan of heavy metals, uh, you definitely want to start thinking about consuming it in this form. Buying it fresh is also surprisingly cheap. So all this turmeric I got the other day in the store was only 88 cents. Uh, it can be a little bit hard to find, but if you have like an ethnic grocery store or something near you, they definitely should have it. So if you still want to consume it powdered, you definitely want to buy it from a reputable company that has third party heavy metal testing. Uh, what was interesting about a lot of these studies that found the heavy metals in them and the lead in them was that even the organic brands uh, were still contaminated and often even higher than the non-organic ones. So you guys know Aviva Life, this is the plant-based supplement company that I'm not only an ambassador for, but whose products I use regularly. And they do use turmeric and some curcumin in some of their products, but it's good to know that these guys third party test all of their ingredients and their final product as well. So they actually test the ingredients when they get them in, before they make the formulations, and then they test them again before they go out to store shelves. So you can be rest assured that uh, these are not contaminated with heavy metals in spite having some curcumin or turmeric powder in them. If you guys are interested in learning more about Vivo Life stuff, uh, there's the affiliate link in the description box down below and my discount code Derek10 for 10% off, but that's not what this video is about. <laughs> so there's lots of information online about lead in turmeric. So if you guys want, definitely go and do your own research. I always recommend that you do. It's good to learn about these things on your own. Uh, and if you learned anything else, definitely help us out and put it in the comments down below. Uh, but one thing that I did read was that the uh, authorities in these exporting countries, India being the main one, are actually working with the farmers and the processors to try and sort of figure this issue out and make it more profitable for them so that they don't have to be, you know, adulterating it with lead in order to make money from it. So I was actually reading that you can make your own turmeric powder and I might look into doing this in the future. I haven't done it yet, but uh, basically you just like chop up the turmeric and you put it into a food dehydrator, dehydrate it, and then you blend it in your blender and it's supposed to make turmeric powder. So I don't know. I've never done it myself, but uh, it might be something I do in an upcoming video. Who knows? All right. So that wasn't a fun part of the video, but if you're still wanting to consume turmeric, uh, here are a few ways that you can do it. So do be mindful that this will stain anything it touches. It will stain your fingers, it'll stain the knife, it'll stain the cutting board, it'll stain your blender, uh, it'll stain like a bowl if you put it in there. 
Yeah, virtually anything. So uh, just be mindful of that and I'm not responsible for any orange fingers or any orange anything else. <laughs> Turmeric is often in curry spices. So if you're consuming curry, you're probably consuming turmeric. And the nice thing about curry is that they usually add black pepper to the mix of seasonings. So you're gonna be getting that maximum absorption from it as well, which is pretty cool. So with whole turmeric here, there's various ways you can use it. You can obviously grate it up and put it into your food or sauces if you want. Uh, sometimes what I'll do in a stir fry is I'll chop it really, really thin and then I'll add it to the stir fry. And if you don't like the taste of turmeric, that probably isn't gonna work for you, but I actually don't mind it, especially when it's chopped thin and cooked with other things. It actually goes pretty nicely and it has like this little sharp bite to it, uh, which is pretty nice to have in a stir fry. But what I've been doing most lately with the turmeric chunks is just to throw them into my post-workout smoothie with a couple black peppercorns. Oh yeah, and I should mention, it doesn't actually require all that much black pepper in order to increase the absorption. Uh, just like five or six peppercorns with a good chunk of turmeric will be more than enough to help facilitate the absorption. I often use the powder in sauces. It adds that bright yellow color to sauces. So uh, if I'm making like a cheese sauce, sometimes I'll add it to that to give it a bit of color. And I also like adding the powder to my smoothies when I don't have the fresh turmeric root around. However, with what I've learned about like all the lead and everything, I'm definitely slowing down on that. One thing that I love using it for and one of my favorite meals lately is to use it for coloring a tofu scramble. So if you guys have never made this, it's really simple. I'll show you here. So what I do is I just crumble up some tofu with my hands. You can use either soft or firm. You have to find which one you like best. And then I add some seasoning. So I start with the lead chromate. <laughs> I'm just kidding. With the turmeric powder. Then I add some garlic powder, onion powder, some salt, and don't forget the pepper and then I saute it just as I would with regular scrambled eggs. Add some green onion, add a few other things, plate it up, and you've got yourself a pretty awesome breakfast. Or dinner, or lunch, whenever you decide to eat it. So I'm gonna show you guys a really quick golden milk recipe. This is a really awesome way to consume turmeric, really easy way to consume it fresh in its whole form like this. Uh, and the nice thing about it is it's like really tasty, uh, super anti-inflammatory, lots of antioxidants in it. You guys probably have heard of golden milk before. It's really popular uh, in like the yoga community and in Ayurvedic tradition. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to make some really quickly here today. So you're gonna need a blender. You're gonna need a nice chunk of turmeric, a couple chunks of ginger, a pitted medjool date, some cinnamon, and you don't want to forget the black pepper. It's probably a bit much. You don't need to put that much in. <laughs> I went for the pinch and I got the pour. And then you just want to add your favorite plant-based milk. And then we just want to blend it up. Other button. <laughs> I'm actually gonna add a little bit more turmeric because I added a really small piece and it's not turning very orange <laughs> or golden. And then you're just gonna wanna heat it up on the stove. Ah, and I almost forgot. So while it's heating up, I figured I'd show you guys this. So you can also get it as a tea. So this is turmeric with meadowsweet and ginger tea. Mmm. It's not bad. It's definitely no banana smoothie, but it's pretty good. You could definitely play with the ratios a little bit and find what you like. I think it could be a little bit sweeter even, so maybe another date, more cinnamon. But anyways, I think that's probably the end of this video. So if I've forgotten anything about turmeric that you want to add, definitely put it down in the comments below. Educate all of us. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Definitely leave your suggestions for what food I should do next for the Amazing Food series. And I will see you guys soon with another video. So much love for me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out so much. Comments help the most with the algorithm. So you guys don't know how much that means to me. So thank you all. Appreciate your support. See you soon with another video. Bye. I can just taste the inflammation leaving my body. <laughs>